Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this morning, our dear friend Michael, side by side with his daughter Isabella. All right, here we go. Here we go. As they reveal what they've been facing over the last few months. Papa Bear, Papa Bear. Mm. Uh, how proud are you of your daughter for wanting to take control and to be the one to share her story? I, I mean, I'm very proud of her. Um, and she's always been strong. And this is something that is so personal that I didn't know if it would be something that she would want to share. I'm extremely proud, Robin. I know that smile <laughs> anywhere. Isabella, how are you doing at this very moment? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, not too bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm very excited for this whole process to, to wrap, but you just have to keep living every day, I think, through the whole thing. Soon after starting college at the University of Southern California this past fall, the then 18-year-old freshman begins experiencing excruciating headaches, unlike any she's had before. I didn't notice anything was off till probably September, like October 1st. That's when I definitely noticed headaches, nausea, couldn't walk straight. And what did you think was going on at the time? I thought I had vertigo because I, I, I looked that up and associated that with walking straight. So that was my problem. You knew she was having headaches, but mm -hmm. did you have any idea how extreme the headaches were? No, no. And, you know, 18 years old at the time, you're not thinking this. Maybe it's vertigo, maybe it's something else, but she's young, she's strong, she's healthy. Look at her, she looks great. A few weeks later, on October 25th, her condition taking a turn for the worse. I woke up probably at like 1 p.m. I dreaded waking up, but I was throwing up blood, and my sister, I was like, hmm, this probably isn't good. So I, I texted her, who then notified the whole family. And then that was when we decided you need to really go see, a, get a thorough checkup. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness for the doctor. I, I feel like this doctor saved her life. She did an EKG there for my heart and like other stuff, but she didn't have an MRI machine. Mm -hmm. So I went to take it somewhere else and then she calls me and she's like, you need to head to Cedar sinai right now. I'm going to meet you there. Once the doctor saw the results, called her and told her just get to the hospital, and mm -hmm. but did not tell her why. Doctors suddenly telling Isabella she's developed a fast-growing four-centimeter tumor in the back of her brain, its size larger than a golf ball. And you knew about the brain tumor before yeah. Isabella. Yeah. We, we all knew. I don't really remember much. I just yeah. remember trying to figure out how to get to L.A. ASAP, and, and it just doesn't feel real. Isabella's diagnosis, medulloblastoma, which accounts for 20% of all childhood brain tumors, about 500 children per year are diagnosed, most commonly between ages five to nine. Because the Wnt variant is rare, 10% um, get it, but rarely someone who's 18, 19 years old. is the one that they feel very confident they can treat. The following day, on October 27th, Isabella undergoing emergency surgery at Cedar sinai It sent a signal of how serious it was, right. and they said, hey, you shouldn't risk trying to put her on a plane to get her to the East Coast to a, or to another doctor. We know what it is, and you should get it out as soon as possible. The procedure urgent to remove the mass the day before her 19th birthday. Happy birthday to you. Isabella's recollection of her recovery remains foggy, like taking her first sips of water. Does that feel refreshing? And learning how to walk again. Looking good. With the help of her twin sister, Sophia. Can I get strawberry ice cream after this? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> she was heavily medicated, as you could imagine. Um, but she would have conversations. She had a lot of her friends, and they would come over just to sit with her. And there were times when she was in a lot of pain. Uh, she was sleeping a lot. After a grueling month of rehab, Isabella then moving on to several rounds of radiation treatment. I just finished radiation therapy, which is proton radiation. And I got to ring the bell yesterday. It was great. It was very exciting because it's been a long 30 sessions. 
six weeks. We can see one side effect to mm -hmm. the radiation, which you are rocking that do, okay? <laughs> Let's just say that. And were there other side effects that you... Yeah, I would say I experienced fatigue, um, not too much nausea, but definitely towards the end, because it kind of builds up throughout the week. What else? Dizziness. I've been very dizzy. And what's next for you as far as the treatment is concerned? So I'm going to start chemotherapy the beginning of February at Duke. Mm -hmm. So that's my next step. I'm ready for it to start and one day closer to being over. You are a definition of a thriver because you're making your mess your message. Mm. <laughs> Isabella, who's kept this part of her life private online, now partnering with Duke's Children's Hospital to document her journey in a new YouTube series. It's been like two months of keeping it quiet, which is definitely difficult. I don't want to like hide it anymore because it's hard to always yeah. keep it and hope to just kind of be a voice and be a person people who maybe are going through chemotherapy or radiation can look at and find something interesting about their day. One of the good things is with the YouTube channel that it's going to Duke, it's going to help yeah. their Children's yeah. Cancer Center. It's important for to let people see that there is hope and you have to just go into every day with the best attitude, which is what she does. I literally think that in a lot of ways, I'm, I'm the luckiest man in the world because I got an amazing daughter and I know she's going through it, but I know that we're never given more than we can handle and that she is gonna crush this. As much as I, I need her, I don't know what I would do without her. We've been through a lot of ups and downs, yeah. worked with you for, for many years. What have you learned about yourself during this? Mm. Poof. You learn that you're probably not as strong as you thought you were when you have to really think about the real things. And I realized that I need support from everybody. You think that, you know, I'm the athlete, the tough guy, you know, I can come and handle, I'm the, the, the father in the family. It is not about any of that. It doesn't matter. And it's really made me change my perspective on so many things in my life. Perspective is a big thing. I'm grateful, I'm grateful just to walk or see it, friends or do something because when you can't do something it like really yeah impacts you when you get through this next chapter of your journey what lies ahead for you isabella i'm sorry I'm thanks i'm looking forward to getting back to college and moving back to california and just starting my school experience over. Not over, but just restarting getting back into a routine mm -hmm. and something that's enjoyable. Something Sophia said to me, I think, the start of this all, she said, you have to keep living just because this is happening. Well, she's right. <laughs> and you've been doing that. Yeah. I mean, I know this yeah. is tough, but you, you keep on living at the Bella. Mm -hmm. You inspire all of us every single day when we're around you. Mm -hmm. Okay? You. And we love you. We're here for you. And you got this, so. I love you too. I say 60, 70 years, you'll be bugging somebody. I don't know if it'll be me. I, I hope so. it is, but mm -hmm. you'll be here, baby. Our prayers are with Michael and his daughter and their entire family. Thanks to Robin. There's been such an outpouring of love, but also many questions. Tomorrow morning, GMA is speaking exclusively with Isabella's doctor from Duke Children's Hospital on her diagnosis. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.